Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So over the years, I've made hundreds of videos documenting some of the worst behavior on social media, whether it's Twitter freaks, aunties, cry bullies, or anything like them. I've seen some of the most heinous behavior you can imagine. So when today's topic is disturbing enough to make even people like me shocked, you know it must be crazy. So buckle in, let's see what this crazy story is all about. So I'm gonna give you a too long didn't read version of the events just to give you a, a basically a outline of today's video. We're gonna be focusing on this artist named Humunculus who was quite literally ran off of the internet yesterday after a viral post slandered them. Now, this will be very relevant for the video. This artist is a cancer patient and as a result of their illness, they have had one of their legs amputated. This is something that is reflected in their artwork. They feature many different disabled characters in their arts. Now, what happened to this artist? Well, a miner on the internet, on Twitter, discovered their not safe for work art and decided to ruin this person's life with a call out post that went viral that not only called out their drawings, the problematic drawings, it also falsely claimed that this artist was healthy and only amputated their leg to satisfy an amputation fetish. That this was all just for a fetish related purpose. Yes, so as a result of this post going viral, thousands of Twitter users harassed this artist and it led to them getting doxxed, where of course, this artist then deactivated all their related accounts. So let's start at the beginning here. This is the perpetrator in today's story, a 15 year old they slash it's calling yourself it's at 15 years old please keep your minors off of the internet but anyways this is the person who made the post uh normally when it comes to covering minors in videos i'm very hesitant even when they're the bad actors but it gets to a point when you literally ruin someone's life for clout on twitter i don't care if you're a child like that is not a get out of jail free card you are quite literally ruining people's lives with your actions and they need to be held accountable. And second off, this account has since deactivated so you can't reach them anyways. But nonetheless, let's move forward. This is the exact situation we're dealing with today. Another unwanted opinion from a minor on the internet, except this one quite literally ruins someone's life. But this is the post in question. So they included this artwork from Homie, and of course it is featuring disabled characters. And he said, drew some guys who use mobility devices like me. And we'll see a picture of the artist later in the video, a real life uh, photo of him. But for now, this is the artwork that they are calling out. So the user says, hi guys, just want to let you know that this dude has an amputation fetish and amputated his own healthy leg. He also drew incest not safe for work in non-con. So even if, we all know this is false, okay? There's no proof of anything. But even if this was true, imagine comparing getting a leg, a healthy leg amputated for fetish-related purposes, relating that to drawings that this person made. Seems completely ridiculous. I know for a fact that this whole thing about the icky drawings here was the main basis of this whole call-out thread. But they added in this gruesome lie just to give it some sort of a punch to it a, a legitimate reason to attack this artist and as you can see 2300 likes and 2 million views on this post as you can imagine the artist was greatly harassed but this is where we're at reminder this is a minor upset with not safe for work content if you went to the artist page, of course, it's down now. They had 18 plus warnings everywhere, not just on their Twitter account, but their related links as well. So this minor infiltrated an adult space and saw not safe for work art that this artist had produced and then went on to Twitter to complain about it and slandered them in the process. Again, we are talking about a cancer patient who had his leg amputated as a result of this illness and this weirdo goes on to Twitter with no evidence to claim that this was all done for a fetish related purpose and that this person was completely healthy. And all of these people gobbled it up. They all gobbled it up and then went and harassed this artist who unsurprisingly had to deactivate, not just because of the harassment, 
but also because they were doxxed. Now, I'm not going to show proof of any of these, uh, these posts. There are multiple posts across various social media platforms that posted this artist's dox information, including their personal information, links to their accounts, as well as their passwords to those social media accounts. So it is unsurprising that this artist was forced to deactivate their accounts for their own safety. That's how far this went because of this lie that this child perpetuated with that post. But you can see, they didn't take any of this seriously. Even when it was still, or after it already had gone viral, this was the original poster's reaction. Bro deactivated with skull emojis. Like, they just got into an argument about something that was not important and the, the, uh, the person they were arguing with deactivated and overreacted. No, you ruined this artist's life. You slandered a cancer patient for clout because you didn't like the adult drawings that they made. Adult drawings, you had zero business looking at and interacting with in the first place. This is their reaction to it. It's just a game in their minds. This is the problem with social media and Twitter in particular right now. This behavior is so normalized, slandering people, trying to ruin their lives. It doesn't connect. They don't connect. They don't realize there's a person on the other end of that screen and there's real consequences when you accuse people of terrible things. It happens to me all the time. People don't realize it has an effect. When you call people certain things or you say they committed heinous acts, people might act on that accusation. So when you make these posts for clout because you don't like icky drawings and you add in these horrible accusations, it's not surprising that someone's gonna get hurt. And in this case, they don't even take that seriously. Even after everything bad that's happened, it's just a joke to them. And it's frustrating. I, 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 I'm frustrated just watching this. And I know a lot of other people are too. But the lack of self-awareness is mind-boggling. This was after that tweet. They, they had a series of tweets themselves and they retweeted other people. This was retweeted by the original poster. And let me just read this, okay? Remember the context we're in. The artist just deactivated, life ruined. They retweeted this saying, my biggest fear online is that I'll accidentally say something and people will take it the wrong way and I'll get threats and harassed about it because people don't take two seconds to educate on problems. They just jump straight to harassing people. It's like looking in the mirror. This is literally addressing you. And they retweeted it thinking it's a defense for them getting criticism for slandering this artist. It's mind-boggling that they don't see that this tweet is literally about you. It's about this kid slandering the artist. It's word for word, bar for bar, all about you. It's crazy. And it would get worse. This was kind of their swan song. This was their last tweet. They pinned it and they also retweeted another thread. So let's look through the thread first and then look at their final comment before they deactivated. So this thread says, a lot of people defended this kid, by the way. Let me just make this clear. Even after the artist was doxxed, people continue to defend the kid who slandered them and basically said, please don't criticize this kid. Oh, how could this happen? But let me read this thread real quick. It says, there's no effing way that people are seriously sending death threats to a 15 year old only because they wanted to tell their friends about a weird person. Good to know that y'all caring about auntie's discourse way much more than actual children. I don't care if Humunculus used to be a very nice artist for you or stuff like that. Okay, it's Twitter. People enjoy weird stuff. However, this guy is seriously effed up and I'm not even talking about pro ship discourse or his leg amputation. Isn't it kind of weird that this guy met up with a 15 year old fan years ago when he was 20 plus years old and already drew not safe for work at that time. So just like the original post, they make another inflammatory accusation with no proof. No proof at all. Insinuating that they met up with an underage fan years ago. Zero proof. Again, and this relates back to the whole threat itself. Accusing this cancer patient of faking his own... Or actually going out and getting an amputation, but only for fetish-related purposes. That's crazy to me. And this idea that this 15-year-old only wanted to tell their friends about a weird person. No, they slandered them with lies that got that artist hurt, their reputation hurt, their physical safety put in jeopardy because they were doxxed. And no, this right here, it's not as effed up as 
the pro ship discourse and leg amputation the fact that if you believe this guy got his leg amputated for fetish related purposes the fact that you compare that to pro ship discourse get offline what is wrong with you that those two things relate in any sort of a way and in the reality of course he had his leg amputated for medical purposes and pro ship who the hell cares about pro ship if you care about pro ship discourse and you're offended by any pro ship stuff i'm telling you not only first world problems but you need to get off of the internet your whole world is completely upside down if you think those things are important or matter or have any sort of relation to real people but nonetheless these are the kind of threads defending this person again continuing the slander and promoting even more slander to defend this kid who made this awful threat and this of course is the artist themselves right you can see that they have their leg amputated but some people are calling out if they had their leg amputated how can you prove that they had it for this purpose that you're claiming and the thread the the person who wrote that thread we just read said that he did and his tweets heavily imply that he did this of his own will this is proof that this artist amputated his leg for fetish related purposes and not for his health this is their proof that he has an amputated leg so basically if he has an amputated leg you can make any sort of a jump or accusation based on that and the the mere fact that his leg is amputated is proof enough for whatever claims are attached to it this is insane absolutely insane like i can't believe anyone would like uh rare moment for me where i'm just like i'm i have nothing to say like i'm actually angry reading through all of this stuff you know normally i don't get like actually like too invested but like how do you not get frustrated dealing with these idiots and seeing the results of their actions and what they're defending and what they're promoting it's so mind-boggling but going forward this was the last post that the kid made before they deactivated it was their pinned tweet before they went down it says yeah i'm gonna take a break from twitter for a while people are misinterpreting my tweet that i never meant to be a call out post and also people are harassing me and as you can see by the 18 likes and 95 quotes at this point people realized what was really going on here and weren't buying this anymore and yeah poor you you know i see this happen to me all the time as well people will slander me say terrible things about me and if i respond or my viewers respond or just casual twitter users or youtube users respond and call out these people the people slandering me or anyone else they immediately go oh woe is me i'm being harassed meanwhile the reason this is all happening and people are even talking to you is because you are harassing and slandering someone else and that's exactly what happened in this situation and it's just so predictable that these people end up playing the victim card yeah boo hoo boo hoo you unsupervised child on the internet who is slandering an artist to the point where they got doxxed boo hoo that people aren't okay with that but yeah i also saw a few things before their account went down i just want to include this because i think it's an important thing to observe so what they're saying right here is that they missed the old days on discord back in 2020 which was three years ago as of recording this video so if the person is 15 now that means they were 12 years old in 2020 and that means a 12 year old was roaming around discord servers which if you know anything about discord that is terrifying that minors like that minors that young are running around in platforms like that and that's at the minimum they might have been even younger when they were doing things like that point being do not let your kids end up like this unsupervised minors going around on the internet not only being in spaces with adults but interacting with people they believe are pedos interacting with not safe for work art that they were told not to look at and going as far as slandering adults because they don't like the icky drawings they shouldn't have been seeing in the first place it's absolutely mind-boggling and of course you know how this ends they deactivated their account and you know what you go oh 200 follower minor <laughs> what was this worth talking about it ended up getting almost 30,000 likes millions of people seeing slander posted by this kid it is important the get out of jail free card of saying oh well it's a minor you can't you can't do anything about it 
Uh, that's BS, okay? I just saw a life ruined before our eyes because of some dumb post that should have never happened in the first place over an interaction that should have never happened in the first place. And people have a right to be angry. I'm, I'm angry as a bystander who's not personally invested. I can't imagine what that artist went through. And it's sick. It's disgusting. And I, I hope the artist the best. I hope they're safe. I hope they're safe in general and their, their treatment goes well and their health is the best. And I'm very sorry they went through this. It's absolutely insane. This makes you lose faith and everything. But in the end, I'm at least glad people caught on to this and put a stop to it. Because it's absolutely ridiculous. This happens every day on social media. These sort of witch hunts over lies and slander. And this was just a crazy and depressing example of that and how far it can go. But that's going to do it for this video. I know it was a tough one, so I appreciate you guys hanging in there. Please share your thoughts about today's topic in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.